So I don't know if I mentioned this last week, I don't think I did. I told Alan the guys, but right now I'm on vacation. I went to go visit my sister in San Antonio, Texas because I hadn't been there before, but man, I got burnt in Texas. And right now I'm in Annapolis, Maryland. I'm visiting my friend Joe, and we chose this stretch of days because the Pirates are playing the Nationals right up in D.C., so it was a good time for us to go, and I can watch the Pirates play and go experience a new ballpark, and that game's happening actually as we speak on the show right now. Uh, but sports, I want to talk about the Colorado Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup Finals because Jack Johnson used to be a Penguin, and if you remember him from a few years ago, nobody, nobody liked the deal because they thought he was overpaid, and now he gets traded or he gets removed from the Penguins. I forget exactly what transaction happened. But now he's played for an Avalanche team that went on to win the Stanley Cup Finals against one of the toughest teams in hockey, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And that made me think about more Pittsburgh players that went on to win championships. Of course, plenty have done it for the Pirates, so we're not going to cover all of them. But most recently, you saw Antonio Brown throw a fit, bounce around a few teams, and then land on the Buccaneers and win in 2021. Le'Veon Bell pouted his way out of uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. He went on to win with Kansas City in 2020. I don't think any of those three players are going to make the Hall of Fame, especially not uh, Antonio Brown. But it made me think, what's more important in a player's career in sports? Is it to have consistent stats, consistent great stats, and go on and be recognized as a Hall of Fame player and get recognition because of that? Or is it more important for a player to stick together with a team and be a role player and participate, maybe not be a star, or maybe be a star, but uh, win a championship, being a role player, and then just being able to say that in your career you reach the nirvana of being considered a champion in sports? And as I think about it, I believe that it's more important to win the championship. It's awesome to glorify players in sports for uh, for what they do individually, but really, if so much of a better feeling, and I say this from experience as a player, it's so much more wholesome of a feeling to know that you were a part of the greater good, which was to win the championship. It's more important to work together with your other teammates, figure out what role is best for you, to figure out how to be the best team and win that championship in sports. And plenty of Hall of Famers have won championships, but there are also a good chunk of them in all sports that were just really great individually, but didn't win a championship with their teams. You've got to have that championship. And, and Jack Johnson, good for him, good for the Avalanche. And uh, I'm not so privy to the other two guys, Brown and Bell, because, you know, they were pouty poo-poo heads and just weren't... Uh, weren't great team players, but that's the whole point of sports. You come together with teammates to win it all as a team, and that feels so much better. Again, from my experience, it's so much better to win collectively than to do well uh, individually and be recognized for that. That's my opinion for the week. Thanks to my friend Joe for recording this. This has been VIP Time. <laughs>